Hi, I'm Commander Arcanic, and today I have something very exciting to share with you. A second procedurally generated helium gas giant has been discovered. The first one, which I covered on this channel already, was discovered in 3305 by Joe 2016. The second one that popped up in the Codex on April 8, 3308 was reported by Matthew Dredd. That's quite the gap between discoveries. Let's see what this helium rich gas giant has to offer. Hmm. At first glance, it's blue. That was surprising to me, as the other 15 are darker and murky. This is a rather boring M-type binary system, but hiding in the back of the lineup is what we are looking for. Looks like a true helium giant with the right composition, as opposed to the other procedurally generated one, which should be called a nitrogen giant because of its composition. Interesting. Arriving at the planet itself, the upper cloud decks resemble that of the usual class 1 gas giant but every other color has been taken out of the color palette, save for blue. This, and the contrast between the light of the rings and the darkness of space, just makes it eerie to look at. Like it's glowing blue. The day and night side look the same. Let's check out the view from its sole orbiting moon some 11 light seconds away. Not much. So now that we have officially two procedurally generated helium gas giants found, what can we reasonably assume about their nature and elite dangerous? They can be randomly generated from M-class to G-class stars. This is a table for all known helium gas giants. Underlined in red are the procedurally generated ones. Now, I don't want to include the ones orbiting 52 Hercules and HR6870 because they have been manually placed, and as much as I would like to include them, it would take away from what we are discussing here, which are stars strictly randomly generated by the Stellar Forge. Alright, now from what we see here, I'd say it is reasonable to make the assumption that helium gas giants can spawn orbiting K-class stars, just like M and G, as that is between the M to G range, even though none have been found around them yet. It might very well go beyond that into B-type, as the table suggests, but we don't know that for sure. That can be found anywhere in the galaxy. In the last video I made about helium giants, I made the unsubstantiated conjecture that maybe helium giants are limited into spawning within the helium hole, a region around the galactic center where the stellar forge doesn't spawn any helium rich gas giants. Thankfully, the newly discovered helium gas giant lies within the normal arm region, south of the hole's borders. What does this mean? This means that they are not limited in spawning within the inner core regions. Now, this is the loosest claim I make in the video because it is literally a few thousand light years south of the border. But besides that, I'm comfortable with my stance because even though that is the case, it is also within one of the most traveled thoroughfares in the galaxy, so it is biased because of that. Proper atmospheric composition. Again, from the last Helium Giant video, I mentioned that these bug planets have bugged atmospheres, as the Helium White Rhino is composed of nearly all nitrogen. This discovery actually flips my theory and throws it out of a six story balcony, as this one actually follows the proper criteria for Helium Giant composition just like the manually placed ones. We have an overwhelming majority of 89.3% helium, 8.4% hydrogen, and 2.2% neon. So why was the first helium giant discovered labeled the way it is, but having practically no helium in its atmosphere? What I think is that the game labels gas giants as helium giants not if the main constituent is helium, but if the atmosphere is sufficiently poor in hydrogen below a certain threshold. I suppose any amount of helium can exist in a planet for this test to pass, as the first one barely scrapes by. So even though there is 0.1% helium within it, no matter whatever else is in the atmosphere, the lack of hydrogen is what ultimately names this planet a helium giant. And I guess the clue for what the game is looking for has been embedded in the description the entire time, noting the decreased hydrogen quantity in the atmosphere. They can look like any gas giant. Unlike all previously discovered helium giants, this one is neon blue. These planets most likely follow suit with the helium-rich gas giants in their exotic cloud colors and patterns. The two procedurally generated ones match the cloud layering and colors found on Sudarsky Class 1 gas giants, and the mainly placed ones resemble that of Class 4, so they don't have a set-in-stone distinct feature like the gas giants Class 1 through 5 have. And there are more out there. 
Perhaps the biggest confirmation we have of this new discovery is that we know for 100% certainty that this planet type is not a one-off fluke. It has the potential for more to be found around the galaxy. I don't know about you, but this makes me want to go hardcore exploring again, knowing there is a chance, albeit incredibly slim, that I will find my own. So get out there. 0.05% of the galaxy has been discovered, and we only have two of these things. We need to find more so we can learn more about them and why helium giants are the rarest planet type in the Milky Way galaxy. I think men are organic. Till next time.